Hi, welcome to Biostock Studio. RCD Pharma has recently engaged leading experts in the field of pulmonary pharmacology as scientific advisors. One of these is Professor Clive Page, director at the Sackler Institute for uh, Pulmonary Pharmacology at King's College in London. Professor Page joins me now via link from London to talk about RCD's candidate for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, RCD405. Welcome, Professor Page. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Professor Page, I'd like to begin by asking you a little bit about your background for the, for the ones that aren't familiar with your work. I'm a professor of pharmacology in, in King's College in London, and I started my career working at the Brompton Hospital on respiratory disease, and I've spent my um, career really investigating inflammatory mechanisms in the lung, particularly of relevance to asthma and COPD. And I've also been involved in early drug discovery and development. So I was part of the team that identified um, enzofentrin, which is a novel drug um, for the treatment of asthma and COPD that's currently just completed its phase three clinical trials. When it comes to the, uh, the field of pulmonary disease today, uh, is the, the, are the current uh, treatments and development meeting the, the medical needs in the field? I think there's very significant unmet need, particularly in the field of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Um, it is recognized as being an inflammatory disease of the lung caused by, in many cases, people smoking. But increasingly, we recognize this is also due to exposure to oxidant air pollution, where people can get COPD where they've never smoked a cigarette. We have very good drugs for um, controlling symptoms of, of COPD, such as the wheezing and, and bronchoconstriction. So we have good bronchodilators. What we lack, I think, are good anti-inflammatory drugs. Mm -hmm. So there have been very limited uh, numbers of new drugs introduced for COPD to control the neutrophilic inflammation that is seen in COPD. We have obviously inhaled steroids available. And whilst they're effective in some people, there's a growing recognition that they don't work for everybody, and also that they can in increase the risk of pneumonia in these patients, which is obviously not a good thing. So we desperately need new approaches to treating inflammation. As your role as, as advisor to, uh, to RCD Pharma, one of your uh, roles will be to lead the candidate to the market. Could you tell us a little bit about the competitive landscape for RCD 405? Yes, so I think our RCD405 is an interesting novel approach because it, in one molecule it combines both bronchodilator and anti-inflammatory activity in a, in a single molecule. And that is very much what we try to do with enzofentrin. Um, it works mechanistically different to enzofentrin, but actually there are very few people who've attempted to get what I've called bifunctional drugs, where you have two relevant pharmacological activities in a single molecule. So I think they're entering a space where there's a need for that sort of molecule. Uh, and at the moment, there is limited competition. The competition as it stands is really um, using the so-called triple inhalers, where we have other bronchodilator classes that are well established, such as muscarinic receptor antagonists or anticholinergics with long acting beta agonists and steroids. So they are effective in, in terms of their perhaps standard of care at the, t at the moment, but they've not cured anybody. And they still, particularly the steroids, I think have a, 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 a particular challenge. So I think the introduction of novel classes of drug that have a new way of causing bronchodilation and a new way of causing uh, anti-inflammatory effects at, at the least will be add on to what we have, but in the longer term could potentially replace these drugs. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned uh, Encephantrin and uh, Verona Pharma, they're developing Encephantrin. They uh, recently announced phase three study results, positive phase three study results. Could you tell us what are your thoughts on these results? Well, I think the results of Encephantrin are very encouraging and, and particularly the um, very pronounced reduction in exacerbations in patients with COPD that they've seen in both of their phase three trials. The challenge, I think, is that the trials have been looking at enzofentrin on top of either a long-acting um, beta agonist or a long-acting muscarinic receptor antagonist, and in a, 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 a limited number of patients also taking steroids, which doesn't necessarily reflect standard of care as we have it now. Mm -hmm. So 
we really need to understand, I think, what enzofentrine does on top of triple therapy. And that's not been done to the best of my knowledge in these phase three trials. So there's no question the drug is very effective. It works. It causes bronchodilation, has a very effective reduction of exacerbations. But the question is, will it still have the same results on top of what we now know is, is standard of care? Mm -hmm. You also uh, went into some of the differences between RCD405 and Sofentrin. Could you go a little bit into, into more detail about those differences and how, how RCD405 could uh, perhaps compete with Sofentrin? Yes, yeah, so en enzofentrin is, is what is known as a phosphodiesterase inhibitor. So it was developed to target phosphodiesterase 3, which causes relaxation of airway smooth muscle and bronchodilation, and to target phosphodiesterase 4, which is the predominant enzyme um, in inflammatory cells. So by targeting these two enzymes, it has both of these relevant pharmacological activities. To the best of my knowledge from the data I've seen, the Arceda compound is not working through that mechanism. It works through, uh, at the moment, I think, not so well-defined mechanisms, but novel nonetheless, um, of targeting other pathways that are relevant to cause bronchoconstriction in the lung and airways inflammation. So I think they're going after a similar area, but through different mechanisms. And, and again, I think the more novel mechanisms we have, um, we know in many complex diseases, that we often have to have multiple mechanisms to get optimal effects. And that's why you're seeing so many combinations of drugs now in a wide variety of diseases. Targeting a single pathway is, is very rarely um, uh, the, the sort of most efficient way to deal with a disease. Well, thanks so much for delucidating uh, that, uh, that point. And uh, that was our conversation with Professor Clive Page talking about uh, RCD's candidate uh, for the treatment of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, RCD405. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Page, for joining us for this conversation, and uh, we wish you all the best with your work. Thank you for your time also. Have a good day. <laughs> you too.